Well, hi all you hobby hunters and welcome to my Boredom Busters. I am your host, Brad Claybaugh, and you are watching Brad's Boredom Busters. Yes, I am your happy hobby host, here to guide you through all sorts of arts and crafts. All right, before we get on with this video, let's let Buster show you how to subscribe. Take it away, Buster. Today we're doing a tie-dye shirt. It's going to be a Ron Star pattern. I had a subscriber ask me about it. She was interested in the Starflower Mandela and wanted to know the difference between that and the Ron Star. So I thought I'd demonstrate that. It starts out as a very similar fold, but then there are some differences as you get into it. All right, so let's get on with this video. So we want to always have a 100% cotton t-shirt. It's pre-washed, soaked in soda ash, spun out in the washer, and now it's ready to be folded. So let's head over to my work table and we'll get it folded up. Okay, here we are at the work table. So to start with the Ronstar, we want to center the shirt, basically fold it in half. This time we're only folding it in half and having the front of the shirt out. The back we're not going to worry about. So you want to find the center of the bottom of the shirt first. And I do that by taking the seams at the armpits pulling those out, which flattens out the shirt. Then you can take and fold that in half. Take your washable marker. Put a little mark on that. That gives you the center at the bottom. Now you can also take the armpits and then flip that out. Find your shoulder seams, bring those together. And that way it'll divide your collar in half. You can mark that then. Okay. So then we just want to take those two marks and fold it right down like that. So there we go. So now we've centered the shirt. We just have the front facing us. The rest of the shirt, the back, is laying back here. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other materials other than your washable marker that you're going to need for this project. We're going to tie up the Ronstar with our sinew. So we haven't used that in a little while. So make sure you have some sinew. We will do some scrunching up and we can either use rubber bands or kite string, whichever you prefer. But the main thing that you're going to need for this pattern is your sinew and then a scissor to cut that. Okay. So now at this point, we want to determine where we want the center of our Ron Star. So here is the bottom of the sleeve. So we can come down maybe, oh, four fingers from that. You can kind of eyeball across that. And we can put a mark there. <clears throat> So now, just like the Starflower Mandela, when we did the airplane fold to start that pattern, we'll do the same thing with this one. So take the bottom of the shirt, hold your finger on your mark, bring that up. 
straighten that out. see it there we go okay so now we've got that so then you take that and fold that back onto itself so you have that straightened out onto that first fold and then you take and fold it one more time onto itself There you go. Okay, and then take and flip that over. Make sure everything is still even. You want those folds straight on each other. So now take the collar and bring that over to these First three folds. Okay. Make sure you, if you have any wrinkles underneath, make sure you get those out. Okay. And now take the remainder of that. And fold that back onto the collar. There you go. And so when you're finished folding, you should have two very thick folds on one side. And then facing you, you should have five folds here. And that's your airplane fold. So now you want to take your sinew and we'll start it here at the tip. It'll just get wrapped around and cinched off and that'll anchor it. And then we'll start doing the folding. You can come up about an inch from the bottom. Go around about three times. Then kind of hold that down, tighten it up. There we go. So that's anchored. So now we get into the Ronstar fold. Because if you remember on the Star Flower Mandela, we did a zigzag pattern. We started at the top and worked our way toward the bottom. The Ron Star, we start at the bottom and work our way up, but we don't need to draw out a pattern. The way the Ron Star works is you take, take the shirt and flip it over and you'll kind of fold that back onto itself parallel to the sinew. And then you take your sinew and wrap that around that fold, go about to the middle of that fold. Go around that about three times. Let's get rid of this little tag ends in my way. There we go. Go around that. And cinch that up. There we go. Okay, and so now that's cinched up. Now you take the rest of the shirt and it gets folded back the other way, parallel to your sinew. 
And essentially, that's what you're going to do all the way up as far as you want to go. You just keep flipping it back and forth, back and forth, parallel to the sinew. And then you'll diagonally wrap the sinew so it hits about midway on your fold. And cinch that up and then go back one more time. And I think this will be the last fold. Okay. So I think, I, so I hope you've been able to follow that. Essentially, we started at the bottom, flipped the shirt over onto itself parallel to the first knotting of sinew and we've just kind of gone back and forth and back and forth folding the shirt back over on itself parallel to the sinew Okay, so that's the Ron Star pattern tied off. Leave a long enough end so you can untie it. The sinew, the waxiness of it will keep it in place so you don't have to worry about it unrolling. So now just kind of open up the shirt. Okay, there's that. So, I think, let's try to have some fun with this. We've got the back of the shirt. There's nothing going on there. Why don't we do a, let's do a little bit of a spider pattern maybe on it. So, here's the center back of the collar. This is the center back of the shirt on the bottom hem you can see because of tying off the ron star it's kind of given us a natural point here so let's take that and just spiral it and 
then by rolling this forward, this is very similar to what we did, or this is exactly what we did, just on a larger scale, on the V front shirt at the top in the V, we spiraled it in the same way to create what they call a spider pattern. So that's the exact same thing we're doing here. We'll get the same effect on the back of the shirt. So let's take that and we'll get a rubber band around that. All right, so we've got the sleeves that are still hanging out. So let's just kind of scrunch those up. Actually, we can, probably easier to control them if we just spiral those together as well. And then we can get a rubber band around that. Okay, what else we got left here? And a little bit of fabric here. So that we can scrunch that together. Okay, so there you go. There's the Ron Star. This is a spider spiral pattern for the back. And then we've just got our sleeves and just the tail of the shirt here. And that's it. So we can go out and dye this up now. And so I'll see you out at the laundry sink station to get this dyed. All right, dude and dudettes, we're out here at the laundry sink at my dyeing station. Uh, just kind of warning if you're hearing any noise in the background. It's December, my furnace is running, so you might hear that in the background. Anyway, so we're all set here to dye. Uh, we've got the Ronstar. Got the spider pattern here and then just some scrunches. So the Ronstar has six segments. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each segment will be a different color. And I'll put those colors on the screen as I'm applying it. The main body of the shirt, I believe I'm going to do sapphire blue with an overlay of deep purple and so let's get on with the dyeing process Even though that I do this quite often, I got a little ahead of myself, had my apron on, forgot my gloves. And I even have them here in my pocket. <laughs> yep, yeah, always remember to wear your safety equipment whenever you're doing any kind of hobby and craft that has something to do with chemicals or dust or anything like that.
All right, on with the show. Now, one thing I'll tell you about the Ronstar when you're applying the dye, do it kind of slowly, but because we folded the shirt, well, first you folded the airplane folds, which gives you many layers, and then you folded that over on top of itself. These little nodules are really thick, and so to get good penetration, you need to apply the dye kind of slowly, because if you go too fast, it'll just bleed into the next nodule that you don't want that color there. So you just have to kind of take your time applying the dye. Okay, now and get this last nodule, just kind of hold the rest of your shirt down away from it so you don't get dye on a part of the shirt that you don't want it on. So the other thing you can do when you're dyeing these bigger nodules is get the tip of your dye bottle down into these folds. That way it'll help penetrate deeper into the nodule. So that's the Ron Star. Now let's dye up the rest of the shirt. Okay, so that's our Ron Star. A little bit of a challenge to dye this one just to keep the nodules from getting dye on it from the other sources, but we have a little bit of bleed in, but not terrible. I think it'll still look good when it's done. So this will go in the tub, sit for 24 hours, Come back here, rinse out the excess dye till water runs just about clear. Then it can go in the laundry with regular detergent and my dye fixative. And then we'll dry it and we'll have a reveal tomorrow. All right, we'll see you then. Bye. All right, my Buster Buddies. Here's our Ron Star. Came out really good. We had a little bit of bleed in on the blue on some of the points, but that makes it kind of interesting also. So I'm not complaining about it. Yeah, I'm happy. Like I say, the colors on the uh, Ron Star came out really nice. And then the blue and purple around the outside came out nice. A little thin on the dye up here at the top, but that's okay. Let's take a look at the back now. 
Yeah, the back came out nice too. You can kind of see the spider pattern. That, that looks really good. So the blue and purple uh, that we, you know, we did the little spiral on the back for the uh, spider pattern. And yeah, that came out really well. So I'm pretty happy with this. I hope you learned something. I hope you give it a try. And be happy to have you leave a comment and uh, tell me if you were successful on doing your Ron Star. All right, let's go back to the table and we'll do the sign off. All right, all you dude and dudettes. So I hope you enjoyed that project. You know, I say give it a try. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really learned something, maybe subscribe, tell some friends about us. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And speaking of upcoming videos, well, we've been dealing with a lot of tie-dye lately, but let's explore some other new projects. Uh, I've got some ideas in the works. We're going to delve into some sewing projects and some art quilts, and even some acrylic painting and acrylic pouring. So I think our next project will be a sewing project. We're going to make a paintbrush caddy. And that'll be a real simple project. I'll teach you how to make your own pattern, depending on how many paintbrushes you have. It'll be a good way to use up scrap fabric if you have any lying around. And hey, if you have any ideas for any projects you'd like me to try and show you how to do, I'd be happy to do so. Just leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I answer every comment that I get from my viewers, so I'm happy to see those and happy to reply. So don't forget, if you have any questions or want to see anything in the future, leave a comment. And before I sign off, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I'm a relatively new channel, and recently we've exceeded 200 subscribers. And we've had quite a good viewing on several videos. And I'm glad that you all are enjoying my content. So in the future, don't forget to come back and see what else is going to be on the channel. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers for being loyal viewers. Y'all have a really good day, and don't forget to go bust out some art.